Good, y'all. So, as promised, I'm going to give you guys a new product review of the Babless Pro Barber Sonic Disinfecting Box. So, I'm a little excited for this one. I've been waiting a while. I made you guys wait a little bit. It's pretty dope. It's a good way to put clips in. It's probably the best part of this box, which we don't have that invented yet until now. So, let's let's get into it. So, box is nice, like always, you know, mine's a little jacked up. Um, I got these from thebarberplug.com. I usually get a lot of my stuff from there. This is first to market, so, you know, it's pretty much the first of its kind. Sonic vibrations, dual soaking compartments, LED light, removable guard tray, automatic spray spring lock auto on and off cleaning cycle and a two year warranty not bad so this looks pretty good still patent pending hmm. yeah looks good let's see, how, see what it's all about here Got the manual like always. Huh? Yeah. All right. That's how it comes. Looks nice. Looks nice. Beautiful. What a simple idea. There's so much to be invented in the barber game. Guys, this is just a simple idea, honestly, and probably about to make a killing. All right, let's get this bad boy out the way. Pretty much, ooh, look at that, that's fun. What is this? this is, that's pretty dope. It's got the little, you know, my favorite part right here. Oh, it actually has a little number numbers on it if you didn't know and I guess for your combs I seen scissors and all that stuff these out the way mm, that is uh, it looks serious looks serious disinfectant line 1 16th ratio all right that's cool can I ball it I guess it's gonna have like a little fill line right here if you can see that and then yeah, this, this could be battery powered oh yeah oh yeah I didn't know that you need to take it on the go that's dope it even has a little cover for the little clicker that's dope That's cool. I like how it has all these little covers because it's going to get wet. You're probably going to need this stuff. That's dope. Beautiful. 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 Don't come with a charging box, but you know, it's just damn near how every 
everything comes nowadays. But which is cool because I already got all my USBs over here anyways. I mean I'll find a better spot, but for the view for the review we'll be here. We will be here. This in here. Kind of bam. Put it into the back. Move this cover. Beautiful. We love it. Backwards. Alright. So what's dope is there's this little thing that pops up a little bit right here. That's all you put once this is covered a little bit. Then this is where the disinfectant goes, the barbicide. So it's pretty much just the sixteenth of the of the mixture, which is to here. So pretty much that much barbicide and that much water. And I know a lot of you barbers like to put a crap load of barbicide, but it's not even that necessary. It's probably where you guys got messed up scissors, eating up combs, like it's too strong. With a dash of the sauce in here. Drip drip. Let's see, let's see what we got going. Alright, now need some more drink. Alright, we got a freshie here. We got a freshie here. Alright, so we'll give that a little wiggle. Bam. Alright. Let's see that's right over the the fill line for the disinfectant. Let's check and see what we yeah, okay. Maybe one more of these. Tad more, tad more. We're in there. We're in there. Though. All right. Should be more than enough. Yeah. Bam. Easy money. Okay. Now what's cool is there's an auto setting on here, so you can turn it on where it just stays on continuously, and it vibrates. So it vibrates in there, puts the UV, and it's got the lights on. So it says when after I'm done putting everything in, close it, and if I have the automatic switched on in the back, it's gonna do it by itself. And when the light turns off, that's when it's done. So that's pretty dope. You don't gotta worry about it. I'll let you know when I take it out. All right, it's to the fill line. Let's get it going. All right, let's see. So once it only goes up to a six, so yeah, that's not. That's not the greatest, but we can obviously put our 7 and 8 somewhere, probably. Um, I was actually thinking it wasn't going to have a half, you know, cause just because like, these don't have it, so. But they do. They got it. I just rinse these off of the hair, you know, first. I would just do that. That's two. Oh, it's even got a one and a half. That's nice. Same with that, it's always by itself. Cool. Um, these combs. Um, barely fit, I don't know. It's definitely for smaller combs, so. That's not the most ideal. I have some of these combs. Actually, I have one more. Let me see if that one fits, because this is another one I use a lot. The, Johnny B. Mm, I don't know. It doesn't fit either. So small combs fit in here. So hopefully 
I'm going to see if I can even close them with these. And if we can, then it's not an issue. Actually. And then my scissors. To me, it's a little secret. I don't really put my scissors in the barbicide. I just dip it in there and use my disinfectant spray. And I've had these had these since 2011 you know same scissors I've had forever they've been for days so I think that's the trick I've seen a lot of people break their scissors by leaving them in the barbicide so yeah but for the sake of science we're gonna figure it out we're gonna, we're gonna dip that in here for a little bit I'm gonna try to put these first just so they fit better I guess Maybe that'll work. Alright. So, when I close this, it'll automatically do its thing. So, let's do it. Ooh, it started vibrating. Alright. Let me get y'all off this tripod. The reflection off <laughs> the reflection off my Broly. Yeah, it's fixed up. I like it. it. Looks pretty fire. Let's uh, let me see this a little better now. Huh? The lights. Mm, I wonder how long it lasts. I have no idea. I don't see it vibrating. That's fire. Stop by reading. Right. Just doesn't feel like the combs that were popping are, are fully submerged. I don't think they are. Well, they're definitely not because obviously the water went past this lid and spill, so that's a little. A little disappointment, but pretty much just my clips will work in there. I guess I could have put the 7 and 8. Those were probably dip in there a little bit. So, yeah. Maybe if they had a... Either a longer extended one, or just a full tray that you can switch out. That takes out these, you can just lay them in there somehow. Yeah, it just doesn't. It's kind of kind of sucks for that, but we'll see what it does. I'll get back to you and see when the light turns off. All right. So the light finally turned off. It took about I don't know, I'll say like eight minutes, eight nine minutes. I had a good amount of time. Not too bad, so I wouldn't pop them in here if you need to hurry up. Um, let's find out, see how it works. Yeah, because you see it's only submerged to like right here for this one. Oh, the back got a little more. Not all bad. Um, these definitely work great. Beautiful. Fully submerged comb, great. So, I also saw that, I was reading right now, that you can leave this in for about two weeks so you know I was thinking like eh, it's kind of a waste of time if I gotta use that use that much water use that much solution just for a dip you know so yeah you can at least keep it for two weeks and then you rinse it out just like you would your 
your barber siding. Your regular one, you know. So yeah, everything is not fully submerged, it gets to you see where that's at. This line right here. So there, which I mean it's the most important. You don't want to use this. But yeah. Turn it off, put it in the middle, and close it. So not too bad. Alright, so overview, I would say pretty much I would rate it a, uh, I would say a seven and a half, seven, seven and a half out of 10. Uh, I think it's a dope idea. I think there's just some things that do need to improve as in like, that I can't fit all my combs in there. Like out of the three different types of combs I use, I can only fit one. So it's kind of a bummer. I use a little bit of, my bigger combs don't fit in there. so. In such a big box, you kind of wish you can put a lot of things in there. Um, yeah, I would say that's my biggest thing right there. Is that I can't fit all those combs. And it can't fit the 7 and the 8, which would be nice for the room. Maybe if the tray was a little wider, it would look like it fit a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, overall, yeah, I'd give it a, a 7. It's just, you know, it's not the most convenient, you know, if you're going to do all that. But at least you can leave it for two weeks so, so you only got to do it once every two weeks but yeah i think it's not too bad so yeah cop cop or not put them in, the, put in the comments let me see let me see what y'all are on but anyways appreciate y'all coming checking out the architect tv thank you for letting me have the opportunity to give you guys a review and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it helps if you were even thinking about getting it so thank you